Open pacing mares are on the track for the fifth race. Number one is Scratched Sick. Number two is Tupelo Rose N, owned by the Enviro Stables Limited and John Curtin with Ron Pierce. Number three is Artifaction, owned by the Tina Star Stables, the Lightning Five Stables, and the Shoot the Moon Stables with George Brennan. Number four, the Andre Farms Tattoo Hanover, Luke Wallet. Number five is Sanibel Island, all by Lloyd or Nancy Arnold and Ed Allred with Steve Warrington. And number six, Yes It's True, all by the Alistair Stables, John Campbell is in the sulky. Only five starters lined up behind the gate for the fifth race. Open pace for mares, a field short on quantity but long on quality. Their combined earnings nearly 3.3 million as they head toward the start. And they're off, and there goes Sanibel Island using her early speed for Steve Warrington. She paces out toward the lead. Tupelo rows in for Ron Pierce, gets away well from the inside. They'll settle early in second. Artifaction for driver George Brennan slides over against the pylons in third. Tattoo Hanover is an unhurried fourth for Luke Willett. And yes, it's true, backed off the gate after a tough trip last week. And she trails in fifth for Campbell. All five have settled nicely into straight alignment. And Sanibel Island controls a comfortable tempo here. Opening quarter up in 27 and 3. New Zealand's champion Tupelo Roseanne rides her helmet in that perfect trip in second. Artifaction is right there drafting along third. Ontario Invader Tattoo Hanover gapped ever so slightly a length and a half further back fourth. And yes, it's true, the Cape and Cutter champion at the back of the pack trails the field. Still no change in position. No pressure so far for Sanibel Island with over a million and a half in the bank. Perhaps her last season of racing here, she reaches the half 57 and 1, a 29 and 3 second quarter breather. Tupelo Rosen sits there in the pocket and now Campbell makes his move with Yes It's True and she's coming hard on the outside. Yes It's True is already up into third and she's now second just a length and a half away and Sanibel Island counters and quickens on the lead here as they head to the three quarter marker. Tupelo Rosen is right there in the pocket in third. Up on the outside Tattoo Hanover second over Artifaction now trails three quarters in 126 and two and they'll sprint for home here. Sanibel Island is digging in on the front in. Yes, it's true. Takes dead aim for Campbell on the outside. Sanibel Island is hanging in there, but yes, it's true is wearing her down on the outside. And these two mares have hooked up here in the stretch drive. And yes, it's true. Surges past to the front. A sharp score for yes, it's true from Sanibel Island. Artifaction up for third and one fifty four flat. Results have been posted official and returning to the winner's circle number six. Yes, it's true. Arts Place five-year-old out of Trudy Elmahurst by Falcon Elmahurst on by the Alistair Stables Incorporated of Morganville, New Jersey. The trainer is Kevin McDermott. John Campbell with his second winner tonight after a three-win performance last night. Yes, it's true. Now four for eight on the season. This mile in 154 flat. Fifth race, the Virginia Jacobson Gold Cup, and Virginia Jacobson herself is in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, accompanied by Dan and Sandy Crivet and Bob Menendez. So welcome to Virginia Jacobson. The Virginia Jacobson Gold Cup goes to number six, Yes, It's True, and driver John Campbell. Number six, yes, it's true, pays 380, 220, 210. Finishing second, number five, Sanibel Island, 260, 210. And third, the three, Art Affection, 240. Exact to six and five, pays $9.50.